All right, so I've been teaching myself uh, Assembler recently, and uh, I've been using NASM. And in a previous video, I discovered how I could link NASM code into either Turbo Pascal or Free Pascal. And I was wondering if I could do the same thing uh, with NASM and QuickBasic. So after uh, doing a little bit of research, uh, the uh, the mixed uh, language guide uh, from Microsoft was a, a good uh, PDF to go through. Uh, if you Google it, I'm pretty sure you'll find it. Uh, it shows you how to link from all their supported uh, languages. And I was able to uh, piece together something that works from QuickBasic. So in order to use assembler from QuickBasic, you need to create a lib and then you need to create a, a quick lib. And so there's a process for that. I've tried to summarize it here, how to do all that. Uh, there's additional documentation all over the internet, how to create the libs and quick libs. So um, I'm not gonna go through that, but here's the section basically that's important. Uh, this is a direct translation of the same code uh, that it did in Pascal. So this is, let's find, this is the uh, same functions. So this is how they were declared in, in Pascal. And this is how they're declared in uh, QuickBasic. So in areas where we want to get a return value, we have to use the uh, seg keyword. And in areas where we just want to pass a value, we use the by val uh, option. And also uh, returning uh, an integer and returning a long integer. And so all this works. I just want to demonstrate it. And the uh, code is on GitHub. So I'm just going to do a little test with QuickBasic just to show that it actually works. So let's start with, uh, so we have our, uh, our lib here, it's a uh, 1K and our quick lib is 5K. I don't know how that works, but you need the quick lib because it, it tells quick basic, basically uh, more information about the lib that it can't access on its own. And this is how we load the quick lib. Uh, we use the command line qb.exe forward slash L and then your quick lib library. Uh, now, the thing I found kind of limiting is that you could only use one quick lib uh, at a time. Um, I'll have to look into uh, some options to see if you can use multiple quick libs or there's a command line that uh, specifies that. So here's the code that we were just looking at, but in the uh, quick basic editor and uh, here, let's start uh, this value. If you pass uh, 10 to it, it'll add 10. And uh, I think that's what it is. Let's 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 try it. So with zero values, let's see what it displays. Yeah, and to, so whatever we pass into N1, let's try 10, we should get back uh, 20. So N2 should equal 20. And here we go. Let me just point to it right here. And so all these functions basically show how you can use um, pass parameters and get return values from the assembler code. So the assembler code uh, looks like this. So don't worry about viewing all this as I'm scrolling through. Uh, there will be a link in the description that points to the GitHub to all these files. So let's just go back to Quick Basic. And uh, let's try the other function. This function does something similar, except it adds uh, a value to both parameters. So N1. Uh, We'll come back with a higher value, and so will n2. So now we have n1 equals 20 and n2 equals 20. Let's change n2 to be 20, and it should return 30, and it does. 
And let's try a return value. So our input value is 10. Let's see what our return value is. R equals 20, so it adds 10 there as well. So if we change change this to 50, we should get 60 back. And we do R equals 60. Uh, this one's a little difficult to demonstrate because it returns a long integer. Um, we're not going to see something that we recognize because uh, the way I coded the assembler code uh, doesn't give us a value that we can see basically. But uh, let me just run it. So yeah, we get this long number. Uh, the important thing is if we look at the uh, last two digits here. So if we, uh, if we change this to 10, we see that it's 10 less from the last run. So it is working but in not in a clear way. Anyway, um, that's all I have for this video. And uh, this is kind of a, a way for me to document things so I don't forget, but hopefully it's useful to someone else as well.